welcome back to yet another video from Teachers Academy and this is once again Aishwarya. Introduction is something very much important for everything. The same goes for OIT writing and speaking as well. So when it comes to this introduction, we will be having some sort of confusion how to frame this introduction. So today we are going to discuss how to frame introductions in multiple ways. So generally, in OET, there are two types of cases, unknown and known case. When it comes to unknown case, we are introducing the patient for the very first time. That can be a totally fresh case for us. On the other hand, when it comes to known case, we are familiar with the patient. We just need to update the current medical status of the patient. I hope now we are familiar with the basic divisions in OET writing, unknown and known case. Now we are going to discuss how we can frame the introductions for unknown cases one by one in multiple ways. For example, I am pretty sure you guys are familiar with the context I am writing to refer Mr. X. So we can put the same thing in different ways as well. For example, I am writing to introduce Mr. X. And if it is a home visit, we can write in such a way that I am writing to request home visit for Mr. X. Thank you for seeing Mr. X and thank you for accepting Mr. X can be used as introductions. Now, if the patient is being referred or is being transferred in the same day itself, we can write introductions in such a way that Mr. X is being referred for so and so or referring Mr. X for so and so. Now, moving on to the last type of introduction for today is we can write introduction in such a way that the purpose of writing this letter to introduce Mr. X. Above mentioned are the different ways we can frame our introductions for OET writing if it is an unknown case. Now, on the other hand, if it is a known case, we just need to update the current medical status of the patient. So that's all for today. Signing off, Aishwarya.